Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you don't already know me, I am a streamer on Twitch. I usually stream Skyrim or challenge runs or FromSoft games. Anyways, today we're going to be getting into Skyrim load order. So I know that a lot of people have a lot of questions about load order. And a lot of people's problems within their Skyrim game are directly correlated to them just simply not knowing where to load what, right? So load order is actually among one of the easier things that you can learn and that you can do with Skyrim. Because if one thing doesn't work, you can guarantee that if you move it around, try something else, it will work. And if for whatever reason you are having a mod that simply refuses to work no matter where you load it in your load order, you can simply just remove it. Let me also just say loot is a disaster. If you're using loot and it works for you, <laughs> somehow by the grace of Lord Radagon himself, then good fucking luck. I'm glad to hear it. But if you are having a very heavy loadout, I'm talking like 500 plus mods, using loot will probably resort in breaking your entire game. Because loot essentially just loads where it thinks that it needs to go, not necessarily where it should go. And having a program take direct control over your load order sounds like an absolute nightmare to me personally. Having direct control over your load order is very important with a lot of mods you simply cannot have a program that is doing that for you so i have a thousand fifteen mods at this point in my skyrim i believe my game is very stable the only things that i really suffer from on occasion are random crashes we all get random crashes i also have a crash deciphering video if you guys are interested in that skyrim will always have some sort of problem whether it's modded or not it's just about minimizing those problems within the actual game. So a lot of people have problems with their load order. They have crashes, they have inconsistencies, they have just issues with it. So today we're going to be diving right on into all of it. So basically when it comes down to your load order, ESMs are always going to be first. ESMs are among some of the largest files that you can possibly have. They are massive and these do count towards your plugin limit. Let's just make that clear. Usually that'll be just huge kind of overhaul things. Dined a lot as an ESM. ESA Assets, which is Beyond Sky and Bruma, Apache Divine Elegance Store, Paradise City Tree, Giant Tree Mod from ages ago, Studio Immersive Death, Campfire ESM3, NPC, all this kind of stuff. These are all ESM, so they will actually count to towards your load order. There's nothing you can do about that. So here you'll see a bunch of unmarked stuff. This is all because this is in my clothing patch. It's my merged clothing patch. So a lot of stuff is unmarked. So how do you know? How do you know where to load your mods? Frostfall is one of the first ones. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to type frostfall. We're gonna go ahead and open this visit on Nexus as an example. All right, so while we're scrolling here, let's take a gander at what it tells us. All right, so this is an exception. Usually it doesn't lead you to an external website, but anyways, it says here, load order. You should in general try to load Frostfall as high in your load order as you can. High in your load order, what does that mean? This means basically, at the top of your load order. So the lower the number is, it's kind of like stacking on a cake, okay? So you have the base layer of the cake. That is going to be zero, one, two, three, and we're gonna be stacking on that. So by the time we get to, let's say 50, all of those things underneath 50 are going to be under the stack if you will right so they're gonna be under that this is basically how it works so if you view this like a cake or like stacking on layers or something like that that might be easier for you to understand all the way down at the bottom of our load order is going to be all the stuff that comes last all of the stuff that shows up last and a lot of mods are required to be loaded later on in your load order so that they overwrite they take precedence over all of the layers of the cake, aka all of these other mods, right? So 
easy example here, okay? Let's say something in your Skyrim game is just simply not showing up, all right? What, what could it be? Perhaps we have loaded very early. Let's just say for the sake of everything as an example, it's a clothing replacer mod. We have it loaded all the way here, but it's not showing up in my game. That means you have something else overwriting it that's loaded lower. So what I would do is drag this all the way down to the very last place in your load order, or second, third, fourth to last. That way it will be overwriting the other mods that are potentially causing it to not show up. So it is firstly the most important to take a gander at the mod that you are downloading on the Nexus. It's very, very imperative that you read every single mod that you download, just the installation part, just so that it tells you where to load it. So you have to follow those instructions. As you saw, Frostfall tells us to load it very early in our load order, hence it is number 35, which is like a very low layer on our modding cake. It's very low. So things after it are going to be higher numbers. All right, so now that we've got that out of the way, usually weather mods should be loaded very early on. Uh, lighting mods should be loaded early on in most cases. I have never seen one that wasn't. However, I mainly run ELFX. Anyways, make sure you just simply read the installation. It normally tells you what the load order is. So as you can see here, we have Enhanced Blood loaded early, we have Apocalypse Magic of Skyrim, we have Sacrosanct, we have usually the gameplay elements that are affecting things loaded early on, and whenever I want to overwrite that, I will load afterwards in the load order. So people can especially run into problems when you have a lot of, let's say, like NPC face body overhauls. So let's go ahead and take a gander into this. So this is actually something interesting that I learned that may help others. Let's see here. So we have a bunch of overhauls here. We have Ethereal Elven, we have Pride of Skyrim, we have Courageous Women, we have Jarl's Reimagined, we have Bajin, 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 Males of Skyrim, Younger Ulfric, Stormcloak, and you can see exactly my load order where everything is loaded. Pandorables, Pandorable Males, all this kind of stuff. We have a lot going on. So we're gonna go ahead and find Ethereal Elven. Ethereal Elven must be loaded before all of these overhauls, otherwise it simply gives you the missing face gen data on your NPCs, which is the black face bug. So if you are having an issue, you move this early on here, but you're noticing it's still glitched, you probably didn't move it on the left-hand pane as well. So with specific instances like this, they must have the same load order on both sides. Usually, that's very rare. But with stuff like this, you need to pay attention to that. So we have Ethereal Elven loaded here first, first, right? And then we have the patches loaded afterwards. If we look for Pride of Skyrim, I believe it was called something else. Uh, let's just, let's see. Pride of Skyrim is going to be all the way down here, as you can tell. So this is all going to be way later. This is like 300 something, right? Jarl's reimagines right underneath, Bajin NPCs right underneath, and they're in perfect load order with both panes over here. So this will avoid any sort of issue with missing face gen data simply because your load order is out of whack. So again, for the most part, on the left hand pane, you can throw shit really anywhere and it doesn't matter. Whereas the right hand pane is going to be your ESPs, ESLs, ESMs, which is your actual main load order. But again, if you are having instances like that, where something is missing, no matter where you load it, in the right hand pane, go ahead and match it up with the left hand pane, and it should be working swimmingly for you from there. Also, another thing worth noting, patches always need to be loaded after the main file, after the master file. 
it's sort of like the parent file. So you have the parents and then you have the children. Okay, so as you can see, extended ruins Markarth, ruins 3D patch, right? Simply load it afterwards. If you have this loaded before, it's not going to show up in your game because if we load the tree patch above it, the main mod is going to take precedence over it. Therefore, it's not going to show up. And also, it is the master file to this mod. So this simply cannot work or show up without this being first being higher on in the load order. Patches should be loaded afterwards. Okay, so we have a bunch of JK's mods going on here. Dragon's Reach, Drunken Huntsman, etc, etc. You can tell the patches are loaded right underneath it. I suggest for the sake of yourself to stick them together, the mod and the patch. That way there's no confusion. You can load a patch all the way somewhere lost down here, but for the sake of you being able to find it easily, and for the sake of everything being organized and easy to find, I would recommend loading them right under each other, if that makes sense. When you're installing random mods on the Nexus and they don't specify where to load in your load order, you should be fine loading it pretty much anywhere. So when I install a mod, it goes towards the end of my mod list, right? So what am I going to be doing? I'm probably going to be leaving it there, not completely last, because uh, 3D NPCs needs to be loaded very, very close to your last in your load order. So does Alcoholic Effect in order to work. The reason why I know this Alcoholic Effect, for example, in my game, uh, they were drinking, they weren't getting drunk. What happened? Um, a food mod was loaded after in my load order. That was taking precedence over this one. Therefore, <laughs> you simply drag it lower and it will work. So Nether's Followers Framework has to be loaded last, my Harry Potter music patch, last, Atlas Legendary, uh, Compass Tweaks, this really specifies to load close to last as you possibly can. This one specifically says always load absolutely last in your load order, otherwise there will be issues arising. because so Things are going to be conflicting with it, they're going to be trying to take over it's not a good time. It's not a good time. So if a mod tells you to load last, load last. If it tells you to load early, load early. If it doesn't specify where it goes at all, you should be fine being able to get away with really having it anywhere in your mod list, unless that's causing problems for you. And again, if you make it number 30, let's say you download a Riverwood mod that you like, and you make it number 30, but you have other city overhauls that are conflicting with it or something like that, and it doesn't show up, you can load it later on in your load order. And I actually don't suggest downloading too many multiple city mods if you don't make patches for it yourself or there aren't pre-existing patches for that because that can be a lot. So now we're gonna dive into the left-hand pane a tad bit, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and go into the texture section. All right, so this is my texture section over here. How on earth does this work? How on earth I have so many texture mods and how are they working together what is taking precedence what is happening what is going on texture mods usually in 98 percent of cases maybe even 99 percent of cases will not have an esp they will not be in your right hand pane they will not be an esp they will only be in the left hand pane right so you're looking at your texture specifically here. They do not have ESPs, therefore they will not show up in the right hand pane anywhere. With that said, how do you organize them? Same thing, load order. What is loaded at the bottom of the cake will be the base. What you load after it will be stacking on layers of the modding cake. So at the bottom of our modding cake, we have Rustic Clutter Collection. Now, I curated this based off of my own personal preferences. I have each one of these overhauls for a specific reason. My base is Rustic Clutter Collection. Then I have Revamped Assets. Then I have Miscellaneous Retexture Project. Then I have Forgotten Retexture Project. Then I have High Poly Project. Then I have Project Clarity. For example, Project Clarity here. I like it to overhaul most of my weapons, but there are some weapons that I want to have a very specific texture. Therefore, the simple answer to that is loading it right afterwards, okay? So this is going to take precedence over whatever this change to Oriel's bow. 
it's going to take over because it's loaded after, therefore it is a higher layer on the cake that is taking over. As you can tell, I have other weapon mods overriding this one because this one is just used as a base so that it covers all the other stuff that I don't really feel like dealing with or that I just want to have a simple mod on. It is the base that I am using here, right? So again, you can see all the other stuff comes afterwards and it's really quite simple. It's really quite simple. If you're not seeing a texture coming up in your game, it's the same thing that applies with the right hand pane. You simply are going to take it and you're gonna load it later on in your load order, right? You're just gonna load it all the way here. KD realistic fireplaces, not showing up in your game. You're gonna drag it all the way down, last down here. That is about all that I have to cover when it comes to load order. Again, your right and left panes are different. If you guys end up having any questions that I missed or I didn't answer in my video, feel free to leave a comment inquiring about load order or whatever issues you might be facing. But again, it's actually quite simple when you know what you're doing. You just want to read every single mod installation that you are installing see where it tells you to load the mod in your load order follow that instruction and go from there if it doesn't tell you where you need to be loading it in your mod list you can practically put it anywhere unless you see that you have an issue it's not showing up you move it down later on in your load order that'll solve issues for you again npc halls glitching not working make sure that they're identical in the left hand pane and the right hand pane when it comes to left hand pane and textures make sure that you have your texture mods loaded properly make sure that you have your base loaded very early on and then you stack on top of your said base like a cake a modding cake if you will i hope this was helpful to anybody out there who is struggling with their skyrim load order and yeah, again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you again for watching my video, and I hope you guys take care. Bye! It was her tavern, and emerged a moment later with a scrap of paper with Lyidas Jurius's familiar scrawl. Decumius Scotty held it up before a patch of sunlight that had found...